My name is Eric Lauror. I'm a scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. I work on the ice sheet system model, which is the software at NASA that we use to predict the evolution of polar ice caps. The Columbia Glacier is a very large glacier in Alaska that is melting fast. What we would like to do here is understand what happens to this glacier if we increase the amount of snow that falls on it. We have built an interface on the website called VISO, which is a virtual Earth system laboratory, where you can carry out simulations the way we scientists at NASA do. We have a very nice uh, simple setup here with a slider, which controls the snow that falls on the glacier. You can slide it to the right side, increasing the amount of snow, to the left side, decreasing the amount of snow. Then you just click on Run here, we are grabbing literally this glacier, packaging it, send it to, to a NASA server, running it on the ISSM software itself that we rely on, and uh, we are downloading the results back to this website and displaying it uh, as a movie here. All the red spots here on this glacier are showing an increase in thickness. You can see that not every area has the same amount of thickness, and the valleys seem to be collecting most of the snow. It's not something you can guess um, just by observing the system. Nothing that you use on Visual is pre-recorded or like a video on YouTube. It is really something that is being simulated on the fly uh, using NASA servers. Check out other simulations we have uh, on the Visual website. One of my favorite is the evolution of sea level along the coastlines of Texas or Florida. You can really see the impact of the evolution of polar ice caps on the local coastline.